Oh, hello! Welcome back! Welcome back! The last time in Fire Emblem, we actually fought the... With the... With another brigand! Who shall we remain nameless, but... That's not what we're here for. Today, we were rescued by... Sane, Kent, and Sane. Right now, we shall continue this... Anyway, anyway. <clears throat> there is a certain sword that we're going to be getting. And oh man, it is an awesome sword. It doesn't make Lynn any better, but it makes her into a pretty good offensive threat. If you can, like, get some good offensive level ups. And I made Lynn good before. But since this is mains patch... I gotta be aware of that. Oh, those green units. Uh, that green unit on that chair is called a bishop. So yeah. They're breaking the fourth wall a little bit. Well, at least Lynn card, but... So yeah. Just realized something. I think that's a playable character in Fire Emblem. Uh, that must be Yoder. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. That looks like fucking Yoder. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Take that with a grain of salt. But I will play some. I will play Fire Emblem Six after I beat this. Ever we defeated a certain uh, fiend that actually is running. Yes. So this is a mercenary named Glass. He is pretty, pretty uh, strong. Yeah, the sword actually has a mind of its own. Think of it like the Master Sword from A Legend of Zelda, or Excalibur from King Arthur. Or the Sword of the Stone, once you call it in Disney, but... I'm getting ahead of myself. The point is, this guy is not a joke, so... Because since Mangs is, well, Mangs, he's making it ridiculous. And this guy is turning up the heat. All right. Yeah, the priest is going to be there. I will go ahead and uh, let you guys know. Let me go check the recording real quick. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. There's always a time that your boy is always going to check on stuff. So, anyway. We're going to go ahead and look at some of these guys. That guy got a hand axe. Just like Bada, and this guy has a... Okay, this is called a fighter. Well, axe fighters in this one. We see more brigands. That's not a surprise. There is more brigands. There's another halberd guy. Like I said, be sure to keep uh, Kent and Sane away or else you're going to end up losing them. And those are sword reavers. So this guy got a sword reaver and it's strong against swords. And yo, yeah, so he got a weapon slayer. So that guy is a threat and this guy is also a threat. So what I think I'm going to do, right? What I think I'm going to do, didn't mean to do that. I kept accidentally deleting that, so forgive me if that's not the perfect thing. First things first, 
I am going to place... The thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to place... I'm going to place... Thane and Kent in Fort. And as for Lynn, though, as for Lynn, we're just gonna chill. We're just gonna chill in one of the woods. We're just gonna chill. So the, those brigands are coming. I'm gonna let them come to me. So I'm playing a little bit defensively first. Okay, so that's a fighter. I really would like to see you guys do that, though. Alright, since I kept doing it, I'm going to get rid of the fighter real quick. There is no way that he could hit me, right? Okay. Okay. Lin has not taken out anybody, but... I need to make up for it. Okay, so, okay, okay. So, right now, we're just gonna go ahead and have Sane kill one of those guys. Yeah, I need to make up for accidentally deleting the fucking file. I am trying to make sure to get all the fucking gigabytes, like, out, so... Forgive me if I'm just accidentally lying to some of you guys, but I'm not doing it on purpose. I want to get rid of you. Goodbye. Okay, the only one who is a bit exposed is Lin. So, he will have a bit of a disadvantage. So, yeah. I kind of wish I didn't, like, do that, but... I was trying to do the right thing. Okay, so those guys are coming. Where is the Axe Reaver guy? That's the Brigand. Where's the Brigand? Okay, that guy's not a threat. This one is. Okay. Okay, okay. So, so right now, right now, we're gonna fucking... We're gonna fucking dominate this guy. Alright, I need you to hide in the woods for... Oh, yeah. Okay, so the sword is there. I'm trying to get his sword ring up. Uh, I will let uh, Sane dish out damage. And with Kent, though, I want to make sure... Where is the brigand? Okay, okay, okay. So what I could do, right... I could put Lin right in the woods. After that, I need to get her to back off. Because I'm going to try to lure that guy. I will be in a bit of a triangle disadvantage. Okay. Both of them are pretty close. Okay. I do not like that. I do not like that. Okay, okay, okay. I need a... I need a back off. I need a back off. Okay, who... who is it? Okay. Yeah, he can go after Lynn. Watch this shit. Crit, baby, crit. I have failed to explain the triangle advantage. Okay. Where is the... Halber. Okay, that's the Halber guy. So first things first, we are gonna fucking land a critical again. 
Not super scary. Okay, okay, okay. That's not something I really want to do. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? If I miss, I'm I'm fucking screwed. Okay. Got him. Oh god, that was fucking scary. Okay, he got some resistance. Okay, where's the I Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay, I need to grab him. I need to grab her. 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 Nope, fuck you. That was close. Yeah. I need to, I need to, I need to be able to protect her. Okay, 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 okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to fucking, looks like I'm gonna have to play my game. Okay, 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 here's what I wanna do. The best way to do this is, okay, that Axe Brigand will be there, so. So, we are dealing with two of the Sword Reavers, guys, so what we could do, right, what we do do, I'm gonna equip the Lance for them both. And I'm gonna equip the lance as well. Yeah, the sword reaver is weak against axes. It's weak against and look at that, I just critted. This is, this is great though, this is great. Okay, so glass is definitely not gonna be a joke. We do want, we do might wanna keep uh, Lin away. So we'll do that, okay. So what we could do, we're gonna try to get his weapon rank up a bit. Cause I want, uh, I would want them to be able to hold a killing edge. I would like, uh, Kent to be able to hold a killing edge. And get, like, Sane to, like, wait, no. Kent to hold a killing edge and Sane to hold a killer lance. We are not gonna do too much. Okay. I need to make up for the lack of, uh, thing. Okay, so what we could do right now is... We're going to go ahead and, well, we're going to equip a sword because he needs to make up for the lack of offense. And you know what, then stay right there. I'm not going to be able to crit, but never mind. I'm a liar. I didn't mean to lie. Okay, we are going to try to do something with, we're going to try to do something with, uh, uh, we're going to try to do something with, uh, the boss here. So, we're going to do something, we're going to torture Glass a bit, though. So before we do that, before we do that, I want to show you something that's really fucking cool in this game that you could potentially do. And this is 
got something to do with the weapon durability. I would do it easily with, like, them, but I will show you when I do that. I would like to do that with the uh, either Sane or Kent, but that's not a good idea. So, I will see. Now, before we fight, I will, I will actually, like, I done the save state on purpose, I'm just gonna defeat, that way I can just de defeat him, so when I screw up, I can just do it, but right now, I'll show you that cool thing we can do, you're gonna fucking love this, you are going to love this, who do you think you are? Okay, he's more likely to tank a hit. So yeah. I would like to use it. I would meant to go get a crit. See how fucking awesome that shit is? But that's not what I wanted to show you guys. That's not what I wanted to show you guys. But I will show you guys. After that, we're not gonna keep the level up though. Ooh, hello there. Hello, hello, hello. Forgive me for that. I'm making sure everything works properly. Anyway, anyway, I'm back, I'm back. Guess who's back from the dead temporarily? glass now remember when I told you you're gonna see something really really fucking cool and messed up here it is here it fucking is no no weapon you know what that means he is completely harmless completely harmless so you know what I can do I can do this as many times I want <laughs> ain't that fucking cool I know that's I know he just dodged that that's not what I planned but I'm just gonna hit him I'm just gonna hit him repeatedly And as for Lynn, well, she did the right thing. She won. She won. Okay. I do not want to end up killing you. I don't want to end up killing Glass, so... I'm going to train both of them. So, Sane, I need to get his sword rank up a bit. I do not want to accidentally kill Glass. I want to get their weapon rank up a bit, but I also want to get a good bunch of levels since I keep accidentally deleting that. Okay. Recording. And you'll love this. You'll love it. See that E rank? I could kill him if I want to, but we're not going to kill him yet. We're not going to kill that. We'll, we'll, we'll making him suffer a little bit. We'll making him suffer a little bit. But I would like you to use your vulnerary. Sir, please use your vulnerary. You don't want to live? You don't want to motherfucking live? Oh, I feel so terrible. I feel so motherfucking terrible. Go, 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 gaga. Go, go, motherfucking gaga. 
Mommy forgot to give you milkies when you were baby. Yes, you is. That's okay, though. That's okay. We'll just keep beating you up. Unlike your parents, we're gonna discipline you. I love being a dick. Guys, I love being a dick in this game. I can just torture the shit out of them. They're like, the audience is probably gonna be like, y'all are probably be like, no, Austin, no, that's evil, stop, stop, stop. Oh, all right, I'll let him fucking, I'll let him heal himself over and over and over again. Because I don't want to kill the opponent. I want to torture him as much as physically possible. We can make him suffer a little bit, just, just like a normal person. But see the experience, though? The more we do that, the more item it is. The only downside about this is that it will cause you weapon durability, but... It, but the extra stats you get, and even the weapon rank... Super worth it, dude. Literally fucking worth it. And again, we're not going to keep the limb leveled up. We want to make up for Sane for not, well, for accidentally fucking doing him dirty. Men in this damn age just can't fucking get respect anymore. I do not want to end up, like, screwing him over. I need to make him stronger, cause, cause like speed is actually the strongest thing to do. We're trying to make sure not to kill our opponent, but we're also trying to make sure to beat it. Okay, we need to land one more hit, and then either he dies or better yet, level up. Now we do not want to kill our opponent. We want them to survive. You would want them to make them survive as much as possible. Like, get to know the guy. You know, man's just be like, Don't mind me, I'm just gonna get you guys to support. And I'm just like, Man, fuck all them damn supports. I don't want them damn supports yet. I want fucking levels. I want to be able to muscle my way through, like, on top of people. So I can dominate them, and, like, dominate them, like, seconds. It's fucking satisfying, you know. You know, Mains, just in case you're watching, you play Fire Emblem your way, and I play Fire Emblem my way. Right? Right. What they don't tell you, though, is that, yeah. And that's also a nice thing about it, because even if he dodge... Which is, I don't know why, Mang, you didn't make him smart enough to use a vulnerary. That's a waste of damn time. I'm gonna go ahead and punish him with a fucking lance to the face. A spear to the fucking face. But I'll just your torture. That's the idea, though. He needs to be tortured. He needs to be tortured. I don't want to kill him. I want to torture him. It's what the whole purpose of this part of this video is, though. Plus, I need to make up for that thing, because Saint was the MVP that last video, and I kept accidentally deleting that like a fucking moron, because your boy can't fucking tell which one is the save game up. Since I am using something that's awesome and bad at the same time, I'm wondering if I even should be doing YouTube, but I digress, though. I digress. Look at that, baby. Extra point to speed. That's not perfect, but... Now, if we take a look at this... 
that extra speed, that means that uh, glass is actually like faster than us. But we have the attention to be more faster than glass here. So by the time we take a look at glass, if we take a look at Lynn, for example, she'd be able to double him. Would explain why she doubles a lot of opponents in here. But that's not the purpose of this, like, thing, though. The purpose of this thing is to teach you guys how to do that. And that's also a nice thing. Despite missing sometimes, the weapon rank will go up. So, ain't that, ain't that shit cool? Anyway, though, anyway. Is it still recording? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm double checking because this stupid thing has a habit of, like, not cooperating with me. I will pretty much just do another one. Yeah, as long as it's not, like, critting or nothing, it'll be awesome. That'd be awesome. I'm trying to get as many fucking uses at it as possible. So, in a way, we will, like, do the whole thing. But that's the whole idea about this, like, training method, is that you're supposed to, like, beat up the opponent as much as physically and fast as possible. You want it like a character play. Like, and I had to use Lin for this. <laughs> Normally, you don't want to use Lin for this, but... But with our favorite speedy girlfriend, I have to make a rare exception. Especially against someone like, uh... Some opponents that are capable of doing that. In a game like Fire Emblem, you have to be really careful while you, like, treat your units. Some people go- f some people like Mangs and Mecha go for support, and I go for levels, though, because I want to be, like, be able to out-muscle some opponents. You know, when it depends on the Fire Emblem, I'm always about that fucking muscle, man. Don't get me wrong, though, supports are nice. But I like to have extra stats, like... The best thing about it, though, is that it gives the character more growth rates. This is a pretty much a great way to do that. I will, like, do more of it. Until, like, we'll do, like, something. So, as you can see, Sane's sword rank is going up a bit, meaning that he actually has the potential to be good with, like, an, like a, with a steel sword. Which is a pretty good thing, though. Now, if you're like Mings, and you have like the Double X, for example, which is, we haven't even run into the uh, Double X, it's not even in Lin mode, granted if Mings make it like droppable, which is, I guarantee you, he probably hid it somewhere in a chest or something, then I guarantee you that Mings is, it's just gonna like hide this stupid thing. And you know, sometimes I don't want to do something, rely on something that just build up on it, like, the offensive and the training ability is nice, but sometimes, in combat, it's not really that fun, okay, it's fun, but it's not fun at the same time, I am being a bit, like, I am being a bit biased here, because since since I don't always use it. I only use it if I feel like I have to, but I'm pretty much sure I'm not like perfect. 
And nobody is. Nobody is. But as you can see, Sane's uh, sword rank is slowly going up. So you could try this with the Devil Axe. Granted, if you're going to try this with the Devil Axe, you might want a healer. And we ain't got no healer or Devil Axes, so we're fucking happy. We are, we are as gay as, as the rainbow. Gay as the rainbow, as the happy kind. Not as the, let me suck your dick, you know. On top of that though, on top of that, we are already making glass suck our dick, so it's perfectly fine. So there's no way that he could, well, physically defend himself. Like, brawling wasn't even a thing in Fire Emblem until Free Houses, so it's really not that fucking far-fetched to do, like, this. So we're gonna go ahead and whack a sword on him. We are almost there, though. We're almost there. We're trying to get his sword rank up a bit. That way we can fight those uh, fighters and brigands. Despite doing the right thing, though, all the time, I mean, you you normally don't always want to, like, be able to, like, do the whole thing over and over again. Because eventually, if I had, like, if I was training Lin, for example, which is she didn't need it, it's totally, it's totally reasonable to get that. And this is also, like... There are some upside and downside about it. The upside about it is that there's multiple upsides about it. It's not like I'm gonna just be like, get Camilla's big boobs, just be like, oh, let me fucking drown you with my big fucking titties, you know? It's not like Fire Emblem Fates when you just. Use a hot waifu to torture the crap out of somebody with Camilla. Especially when dur weapon durability doesn't even exist. I will give you the games just in case you are aware of it. And would like to try this trick. This trick is always awesome. It's always a lifesaver. And the best thing about it, it can turn any character. Even a pathetic character like... Uh, Let's say even like uh, Lin here into an offensive monster. So you can instantly do that. You can even take like the. You can literally take any character in the army and just try it. You can literally take Meg, the 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 worst armor knight in the series, into and in like into a pretty good <laughs> offensive unit. I may be a butt of a joke sometimes, but sometimes a butt of jokes got some badass moments about themselves. You know, if uh, if Daffy Duck and Meg Griffin and Kenny McCormick's like goals to be the butt of jokes, there's some people that actually does that really well. We are almost done. We do not want to kill him. There we go. I almost got like two levels. I can kill him if I want to. I can kill him if I fucking want to. And somebody's gonna fucking like... Make a Simpson fucking moment saying... And being a psychopath that likes to beat the crap out of things, it's fucking satisfying being a dick sometimes. Especially to the right people that deserves it. I'm looking at you, Joe Biden and Andrew Smith. 
looking at you. Bunch of lying sociopaths. Three, two, level up. I leveled up twice. And check that shit out. Ain't that shit cool? Now, I need to make sure not to level up too much specifically because I can't accidentally kill him and I don't want to kill like glass with these characters. Because the whole purpose is, is to beat them over and over and over and over again until I get the right stats to make them, like, more effective. Now, if I attack with Saint again, you notice that earlier. That becomes more apparent that I have to be careful. So, anyway, though, I want to, like, level up the thing. Anyway, though, I will see you guys later. Because I'm going to do the exact same thing with Kent, and I'm going to try to get his Lance rank up a bit. Plus, a couple of levels would be nice for him. But, yeah, he rivals with, like, almost the best thing so, I will see you guys when, well, well, when Saint gets his, like, level up a bit. Well, granted if this thing, like, stop recording. It kind of fucking, it kind of fucking ridiculous when I just can't do it. Anyway, you want to see something, like, really, really cool, it gives you, like, not only good level up and pretty good stats, it also, it should go up right about now, I could be wrong. Not yet, not yet, well, we, I spoke too soon, I spoke too soon. Anyway, though, anyway, I'm trying to make sure to make the topic as much as awesome. I am torturing the shit out of this guy, though. So, meaning that if I wanted to, I could just kill him right now. But that would be petty of me, right? Absolutely. Okay, we are almost there. Okay, one more hit should do it. One more, sh one more fucking hit should do it. And anyway, though. After that, after that, we'll show you the other nice thing about it. As soon as he gets the right amount of HP, we're going to be seeing each other. One more time, just in case. And... Three, two... One. Now, if we take a look at that, wow, D rank and sword, and that's awesome.
Now everybody, including Lin, could now use a steel sword. So that's awesome. I would like to get their lance rank up a bit, so... Now, I could do the exact same thing with the... Uh, uh, with uh, Kent, but on top of that, though, I'm thinking I'm gonna do it off, like, screen, so... I'm gonna enjoy, like, doing this. So, I'm gonna let Glass heal, and I'm gonna... And I'm gonna torture him a little bit more. So thank you guys so much. I will hope to see you guys again at something. So I and we are back, you guys. This totally is fine though. This is fine. Uh, it's gonna go put right there. Anyway, anyway, we defeated Glass. Couple of minutes later, look at that. Got good sword rank. I got a pretty good lance rank. We're going to end the chapter. So this is totally awesome. Yes. So the Marikade is actually a good sword for a lot of characters. Well, specifically for Lin. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm trying to be as fast as I can, but I'm also trying to do it. You guys are welcome to, like, pause it anytime. So the sword is ridiculously good. It is actually a pretty good sword for Lin. It's actually the best sword for Lin. Because she can actually dish out a lot of damage. If she got, like, good offensive, and she... Well, granted, if she's not strength screwed, she will do a lot. Now, RNG screwed is not something you want to do. But, yeah. After defeating Glass... This is a great sword. And that sword is going to be the reason why we defeated somebody. Now... We're here to take, we're here to discuss someone. This guy. Oh goodness gracious, this bastard. I have a good theory about what he actually did. I have a good theory that he made a deal with Nurgle. Which is another villain that we will discuss at some other time. Anyway, ooh, anyway, that will be this for the episode. If you guys like this, feel free to come by, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much, and do come again. Bye-bye.